In this video, we'll look at some sketch bucket tools, starting with the circle. Click on the grid, click the center of the circle, then click or type the radius. If you type it, click to finish. We'll add a polyline. The first click needs to be on that circle so that it is on the same work plane. Then click the endpoints. Let's mirror this line now. Click another polyline, and the purpose of that is to make a mirror line. and I'm making another mirror line. Note I snapped to the center of that circle. Now click on the line to mirror, click on the mirror tool, click on mirror line, click on the mirror line itself, and it mirrors. Let's do the same thing for that circle. Click on mirror line, Click on the mirror line itself and the circle mirrors. Let's mirror this line in the opposite direction. Click on that line and it mirrors. Items have to be mirrored one at a time. And the mirror line and the item to be mirrored must be on the same sketch plane. Now we'll trim. Click on the sketch and click on the items to trim. And again, the items that are trimmed need to be on the same sketch plane as the items they're being trimmed from. Now click Sketch Fill It. Click on the sketch, then click the two endpoints to fill it. And with that arrow, you can adjust the fillet. To mirror it, click the mirror tool, click that line that I left as the mirror line, and there it is. Now trim off what you don't want. Let's make some holes in this sketch now, and we'll use the sketch in the primitives bucket. This works differently than the circle in the sketch bucket. You just click it once to place, and before you place it, you can type a radius. So you can't add a primitive sketch to the same work plane as the rest of the sketches. Now extrude it, and since the sketches are on the bottom, turn it over to extrude them. Hide the sketches, and there you have it.